Hello, my name is Logan and today we're going to be going over the new sprite pack and how to install it into your folder correctly. So you can get these new custom sprites uh, that just got announced today. Well, yesterday for those who are watching the video now. Um, so I'm going to show that process. So on Discord, you guys are going to want to head to the official Pokemon Infinite Fusion Discord. And then down in downloads, they just announced it. If you haven't downloaded all of the custom sprites and you want all of them, you want to download this guy. You want to download the sprite packs one through 86, January, 2023.zip. If this is something you've been downloading the custom sprites, you're going to want to download sprite pack 86, January, 2023.zip. And when you download that, so it'll look like a little zip folder. So from here, we're going to extract it. So I'm just going to right click it and we're going to hit extract all. And here I show an example of what the game looks like when you extract it. And I'm going to be going through the graphics folder, but through here. So we're going to hit browse. I'm going to go find my, uh, my game. Now it's not going to be the same for you guys, but it will be identical in this section. So we're going to hit graphics and all we're going to do is hit custom battlers and we're just going to do select folder. And from here, everything should be good to go. We're going to hit extract. Now you can see there are quite a bit of items in here. There are over 5,000 pictures. So depending on your setup, depending on your hardware, this can take a while. So be patient. Also the default, um, extractor for windows, it may not be able to handle this process. Luckily it looks like my computer is doing just fine though. It is taking some time. Um, uh, but you can also use WinRAR or like seven zip and that will also help. Um, so I highly recommend looking at that, at those pieces of software if windows is going too slow or if you are encountering more problems so we're just going to sit back a little bit uh, and watch this thing complete so after it's done extracting this is what it's going to look like there is a folder in here now so now i did this on purpose this is what most people do they just extract directly to the custom battlers folder and this is what it looks like, but this is a problem. We don't want a folder in the custom battlers folder. We want images. So I did this on purpose to sort of show you how to fix it and kind of problem solve. So if you did do this, if you're following my tutorial here, you more than likely you did, we're going to go into this folder. And from here, we're going to click other, the other folder. And then we're going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to left click this last image. We don't want this readme text file. Uh, it just tells you how to do this. So we're going to ignore it. We're going to right click an image. I'm going to cut and then we're going to go to custom battlers and we're just going to paste. Now this shouldn't take as long. Should be a little quicker. Um, and this is exactly, exactly what we want this folder to look like. We only want images in this folder. Now there won't be any problems. The game won't run into a problem. If you keep these, uh, folders in here, it just won't load up any sort of new sprites. So we're going to give it a second. There it goes. So it's finished whole bunch of stuff. So from here, we're good to go. But just in case for those that are wondering what this other folder is, it is it a folder that contains more alternate sprites that aren't like what the people voted on and stuff like these are, this one is vanilla sprites, you know, non fused Pokemon, and it makes them look a little different than what you're used to. So you can use these, you can drag and drop them into the custom battlers folder and do the exact same thing. So. You can dig through these and find new stuff. You may have to rename some of the files to what the game has currently to replace them, but I'm not really going over that. I'm just going to show you how to upload these custom, uh, sprites. 
So now that's done. We can delete this because that's just junk. You can keep the other folder in here if you want to revisit. I don't really care. I'm going to delete it and we're going to go back. Uh, something's going on. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm pressing back and I'm going to a thing that doesn't exist anymore. My bad. We're going to come up here and we're going to go to new 5.1. That's my root folder. And from here we can play the game. So I'm going to boot it up and a message should pop up. Okay. It's, it's loading up. So we'll press enter, enter again. And here's the message we want it. So while importing custom sprites, the game has detected that 249 new custom sprites already have versions that exist in the game. So what that means out of the 5,000 or whatever images that I just brought over, um, it found 249 that already have custom sprites. So through the discord there, they are constantly changing some of the custom sprites that have existed in this game to match the feeling of infinite fusion better. So, I'm sure if some of you have played the game, you've seen some fusions that are kind of off or maybe not complete, or there's something wrong with it. It could even be um, an edit of a current custom sprite that had some pixels that were off. So who knows, but I am going to replace it. So what do you want to do with the new sprites? So this is talking strictly about the sprites that would replace the pre-existing ones. So if I don't, if I click do not import the new sprites and I'll show you guys, I'm going to do that. Yep, yep, yep. So this is just saying, giving you options of what to do. So we have 4,000, over 4,000 new custom sprites that got imported. That's crazy. So they're imported. And what that means, I'm going to close this and we're going to go back into graphics. And what I'll tell you guys too, what it means by it'll be slower if you keep these in here. So out of those 256, these are the custom sprites that already exist in the game. So you could go through here and see exactly what is going on if you want to, but it imported everything else. So from here, if you do not want to replace your custom sprites that you have, with these ones, you would simply just delete these. So you would just left click, hold shift, left click the blast one, right click, and then we would delete it. Uh, but I want to import them. I want to replace them. I'm guessing they're better. I'm hoping. So we're going to go back and we'll load up the game again. And this time the message should pop up again. And that's what it's talking about it going slower because it constantly has to check that folder. And if you have stuff in there and it always has to pop up the message, it will just make the game slower. Same message, 249. So this time we're going to do replace. Great. Now we close out. Well, yeah, actually, I, I may want to show you guys something. Let me see if my game will show it. Um, this is the sad moment of me defeating a legendary on accident and saving it right afterwards. But we're going to look at, uh, our Pokédex here and find a fusion. So let's see, let's look at this guy really quick, just in case. So if you go into the sprites section, this is the alternate version and you guys can switch that at any time, but I'm trying to see if there's one that has more than there we go. Here's a good example. So this is a Delibird bird Bulbasaur fusion. And as you can see, there is another version right here. So there's a Christmas version, um, of the fusion. So there's three different things you can choose from. And that's what that other folder has. It has alternate sprites for the Pokemon. It won't the alternate versions for anything else. It will not have this option of being able to switch. That will only be done with the Pokemon battlers or custom sprites, whatever you want to call them. So it's really cool. You can have multiple versions of the same fusion and the game recognizes that. And then you can switch them at any moment. So you can tell the game, I only want to look at this, this one here. So the game will know and it will always show that fusion as a sprite. So I don't know if many people know about that, but that is a tip. 
uh, very important and you can have multiple fusions, uh, custom sprites for one fusion. So we're going to close this and I'm going to show you guys the last little bit here, custom battlers. And here we can see something didn't get imported, right? This is actually good. I can show you guys how to problem solve here. So these are left. That means the game had no idea what to do with these. And that's because of the naming. It's not that it's not good. So like, for instance, this one here, this is a Growlithe Cubone. Uh, it's the, the name here that's wrong. Ah, okay. So I figured out the problem and I should have recognized that from these other sprites here that don't have the zero in front of its name. So from here, this is wrong because it needs to be 58, not 058. So that one should be good to go. Now we have an alternate sprite for Growlithe here. Um, I'm not too sure why that wasn't. This is technically not a fusion. This is just an alternate version of Growlithe. And then we got this guy here that is a fusion. Um, and he's wrong because of this here. We want to have that as lowercase. If it lets me, it's kind of odd. It's still showing it as, um, caps, but let's see if that works. Let's go and load the game back up. At least one of them should work. Again, I did not expect this problem. So we're kind of problem solving it as I'm making this video. And then once we're in the game, we'll see if I have seen a Growlithe. Oh, there we go. So it's only doing one custom sprite. So that other guy with the caps lock caps PNG is not working, right? Oh, it may actually, it may have worked. I'm not too sure. It, this is just the one that actually has a current custom sprite. So we'll look. Oh, no, we got both of them. So changing the name, deleting that zero, and then going to the PNG and making that lowercase fixed it. So now what we want to do is see if Growlithe is actually in here. Okay, so I could not get the alternate sprite to work um, with the Pokédex, what I showed you guys with the fusions. So if it is a non-fused Pokémon, you're going to have to rename these. So like this one, you're just going to have to rename it without the A. And cut and put it into uh, the folder here. 67. So you're going to have to right click and then click paste. This will replace the file. So you will get the alternate sprite that way, but the game doesn't recognize uh, non fused Pokemon with alternate sprites. So that's a bit of a bummer, but there is a way of fixing it. You just have to manually go in there and do it yourself. Hopefully that helps. Um, I'm hoping this tutorial was helpful and show you how to problem solve. Cause that's the number one thing here is that this game, there's a lot of issues that can pop up, but there's quick and easy solutions. If you can understand how the game or the folders work and you can go in there and fix it yourself. If you do have any questions, I will answer them. So drop them in the comments or any of the other videos and I will help you out. But I do recommend going to the discord and asking help there. There's a tech support section. I do look at that and other people do too. And there's been a spike of um, interest with this game. So there is a lot more people in there that are helpful and problem solving. So please don't be afraid to submit your questions. Um, even if they seem dumb, I will be more than happy to help you. I hope this tutorial was helpful in some way. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, but if you have, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Bye-bye.